uh, obviously after your 2-0 defeat in your European qualifier um, how is the feeling now after the game? Um, very disappointed actually yeah. hugely disappointed um, I thought we acquitted ourselves really really yeah. well tonight um, sort of the story of our season we uh, gave away the ball um, for the first goal and uh, they punished us and you can't afford to give the ball away uh, to an opposition like that like they're full of internationals uh, Swedes Finnish Costa Rica and so they're, they're going to punish you and uh, we can't afford to do that in Europe and that's what happened there tonight uh, we were punished badly in the first half there wasn't really much between you in the first half really like um, I know there was maybe a few half chances both ways really um, the times that you looked like you probably used were going to get chances on the counter attack and then from wide areas was it frustrating for you in the first half when they were making professional fouls necessarily on on Mikey Drennan and every time he was receiving it on the counter attack there was fouls from behind him was that something that you were expecting? I uh, wasn't expecting that but uh, that's just clever football that just yeah. shows their experience in Europe and uh, preventing us from uh, Attacking, you know, that's that's a good experience. Good international players do that, and that's the way you win matches. So um, I, I can't uh, blame or fault them for that. They they want to win the game as much as we do. But uh, overall, like uh, I was delighted with the effort and uh, attitude from the lads tonight. It just wasn't to be. Um, we gave away the ball, which um, they scored um, on the break, and the second goal was just an OG. It was a scrappy goal on their half, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, did you think it was a penalty in the first half? Yeah, for from, where, from where I was standing, I th- definitely thought it was a penalty. I thought he nudged him in the back. The Swedish defender misread the ball and uh, Shazi got in behind him. And uh, I thought he nudged him down, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, maybe it was just a little bit too early for the referee. But um, in saying that, uh, if it was a foul, it was a foul that he should be given it. Um, I, I would like to see it back, though, to just confirm my thoughts on yeah. that. I thought, it, like I've seen you playing your your five three two many times over the season. When he's beat Dundalk here, it was great in terms of um, how he's counter attacked him and things like that. Um, obviously, in this game, they had a lot of the ball, and you made those changes. I thought it was very interesting because I thought you said to get back in the game once you made the changes uh, when you brought in Reese McCabe in midfield and you just went with two wide. Um, was it something maybe in uh, you trying to get a grasp of the ball in midfield? Was that mainly your t- thinking in it? Uh, not really. We, we we were after going a goal down, and uh, we we played with two wide players and more and it worked very well and created lots of chances and as you rightly say like uh, we got a bit of a lift when it happened and uh, we created a few more chances with Bermo's uh, strike and Mikey's strike as well so their keeper pulled off a couple of good saves there tonight so we did create a few chances and uh, just disappointed that we didn't take them and get something from the game Obviously, it's great like for, for the locals that Chelsea are coming to town and all that but is it, would you almost rather like you're kind of looking ahead to a much more important game. You kind of wish that it wasn't in between these two games. Oh, you'd love if it wasn't in between the yeah. two games and uh, do what Bowles did and put out a full strength team. But I have to look at lads there that after playing a really tough match, you are going to be fatigued. Um, we'll see what way we are on the injury front as well. So we have to be very, very careful with our lads. So um, lads that certainly haven't played tonight will play um, on Saturday against Chelsea and uh, we'll see what other bodies can uh, participate in that game. Mm-hmm. Right, well, I really appreciate your time, uh, Harry, and I'll, I'll let you uh, get to preparing for Saturday. Thanks very <laughs> much. Thanks very much. Thank you very much.